Happy Pentecost, everyone. I love this feast day. It, really, it launches, it's our mandate to go out into the world and make disciples of all nations. And what's interesting about this day it, that is very important to remember is that look at the apostles. They are the paradigm of how it doesn't matter what kind of raw material we bring before the Lord. They were afraid, they had abandoned the Lord. You know, they're in deep recovery mode. They're wounded, all of these things. But the one thing that they did that was right, that made all the difference, that made this Pentecost powerful, is that they were obedient to Christ. He said, go to Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit. And they made their first novena. They prayed around our Blessed Virgin who was interceding on their behalf. And this combination was like an Annunciation Day of the Church. We had the Holy Spirit overshadow the, the church as he did with Mary at Nazareth. And now we have the birth of the church. And so this is a beautiful and powerful time. So let's remember that. It doesn't matter um, about our insecurities, our fears, our hurts, whatever it is. Let's just imitate the apostles in the one thing that mattered, that they were obedient to Christ. They surrounded themselves with our, uh, our Blessed Mother and watch what happened with them. This is what we need for the new evangelization today. So don't be afraid. Be obedient, surround yourself with Mary, and beg the Holy Spirit to come down upon you. 3,000 were converted that day. Let's multiply that by the one billion Catholics we have now. We're gonna have a different world.